we have nothing at all to do with this war. Early this morning, 5 a.m., 4 a.m., we were woken up with how many bombs? Six. It was six. I counted each and every one of them. Six. At any amount, we do not care what they have left. Now they have decided to go and block that route. At this point, I don't know what is going on, and we are not going to be used as bait. Yesterday, we took a journey that was had very great risk. We used our private car and tried to go to Portava. Then Nigerians, we ran into the Russian military and we are fired upon. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Betu Grace here. I'm back with another story following the Russia-Ukraine war. So the previous video I brought you, it was about Ukraine demanding a thousand dollars payment from volunteer Nigerians who were willing to go and fight in the war on their side following the appeal that was made by the um, Ukrainian president calling for international volunteers with military background to come join them in fighting against the Russian invasion. So in today's story, I'm bringing you the reactions from the continent, you know, so following the war, uh, some governments in Africa have taken the steps to mobilize um, evacuation efforts to get citizens back from Ukraine and the neighboring countries that some students or some Africans who were in Ukraine were able to flee to. So um, Ghana, for instance, has evacuated some students, about 17 or more, from um, Ukraine back into Ghana. Nigeria has also followed suit. So President Buhari approved over 8 million US dollars for evacuation of Nigerians who had fled from Ukraine to neighboring countries like Slovakia, um, Poland, Romania, you know, those countries where they were able to flee to. So far, about three batches of Nigerians have been evacuated from these countries where they fled to back into the country. It's about a total of a thousand Nigerians who have been evacuated so far. And it's commendable. At least we are seeing some response some action from our government and it's only right that we you know we commend them for the effort but we we want to hope that they are going to sustain the efforts and make sure all of our people who are stranded in foreign countries with little or no help or who, who need to be back home are evacuated and brought back to safety. So a story broke that really caught my attention. Uh, some African students in a university in Sumi, Ukraine, uh, put out a call, you know, an SOS call demanding that they want to go back home. And the allegation is that the Ukrainian government has locked them up in that school and they are not able to, you know, escape to safety despite the um, you know constant fighting that is happening in Ukraine at the moment so what happened is despite the fact that some Africans were able to flee from Ukraine albeit having to trek for hours or even days in order to get to safety some of them were not able to go because they thought um you know where they were was quite safe until it was clear that it wasn't safe really so now they want to go the government is preventing them from going they've locked them up in the school in sumi so it has gotten to them now they are running out of supplies and they are not getting any form of assistance so they are calling for help they want to come back home and this video really touched my heart because it's it always seems like we are made victims of every situation even when we really have nothing to do with it because as africans we have really nothing to do with this war it is not our war to fight and we can't be you know used as ransom or for any reason you know so this is just, you know, adding our own voices to the call being put out by our fellow Africans who are locked up in that school in Sumi, allegedly, to be let out so that they can flee to safety. Like the evacuation flights are being sent to Romania, Slovakia, um, Poland to evacuate Nigerians and, I guess, other Africans who were able to make it to those countries and received by the embassies in those countries. So it shouldn't be a different case for these other African students who are still stuck in Sumi. But I'm going to let you watch the video now and hear from the students directly. Please share this video wide, let it go wide so that the authorities concerned will see this and 
collectively our voices will be able to rescue our brothers and sisters who are stuck somewhere in Ukraine so that they can be evacuated to safety. Okay, watch it. We did not ask, we did not tell them to stop their war. They can continue. Are we begging them? Do they have do we have any personal interest in this? No. What are we gaining from it? Nothing. We just want to go home. Everybody, let us do so we can go home. Because I'm really not interested in coming back. I don't want to come back. Me too. I don't want to come back. Let us just go home. Go home. They should allow us to go home. Guys, so Please, you guys, let's start working. We are ready. We are going to come. And if they shoot at us, this is all the Ukrainians. This is all the Ukrainians and the Russians. We are going. at all to do with this war. Early this morning, 5 a.m., 4 a.m., we were woken up with how many bombs? Six. Five. It was six. I counted each and every one of them. Six. Next thing, we want to go home. And they are telling us, first of all, they increase the price of taxi. Who pays almost two million naira to go back to Potava, a two-hour journey? Anybody that is hearing this, from Kaduna to Abuja, two hours. You are telling me to pay a million naira. That is not all. We said, okay, we are going to pay it. Now you have locked us in this hostel. Why? No, seriously, guys, what did we do wrong? Now, what did we do wrong? We, do wrong? We, just came to, we just came to study medicine. We haven't showered in three days. Yes. There's no light in the hostel. There's nothing. We cannot, our, everything is running out. This place is not safe. Every single day, some of us have mental trauma. I, we can't even hear doors closing without someone running. Yes. Someone is moving a box and we are running. It's not fair on us. We have nothing to do with this war. This is not our country. If it was our country, if we were fighting for our country, we understand. Please and please, all we want to do is just to go home. We are in so much pain. We are in so much trauma. Many of us after this might not be able to live normally. Please and please, let us just go home at least. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Please, can you share? The thing is, for like the past two weeks now since this war has started, apparently there has been a route to leave Sumi since. But school has refused to provide us with buses with um, transportation to leave this place. We know about like almost 50 students that have left from this SUMI uni, um, SUMI to go to Portava. At any amount, we do not care what they have left. Now they have decided to go and block that route. At this point, I don't know what is going on and we are not going to be used as bait. Please, let you us you. go. Please, let us go. We do not want to be a part of your war. Please, thank you very much. All right, like I really had a very bad ordeal today, very bad, because the last explosion that happened took place close to my house. Funny enough, I was just in my kitchen trying to prepare something. I saw how my house shook, like I ran away from the kitchen and it's been very traumatizing. Trust me, you don't want to experience it. I'm just in the room, I'm alone. At every sound, I shiver. At every noise, I quake, like it's very bad. All we are asking is, can we cease fire and let the student of move yes like every way is blocked there's just something fishy about this whole thing i can't place yes. please we are calling on everybody to help get a lot of us out we are many here we are stranded and we are stuck we appeal to you please help us thank you President. yes so we are just asking that you let us go how would you do this? We could reach agreement with the Ukrainian government, the Russian government, a serious agreement. Just create a humanitarian corridor so we can live here. We are tired. A lot of people are going to develop PSTD after this. And it's going to be very serious on this. Look at a lot of you. Some of them are very young. Just consider this and let us go. We are not part of this. We didn't plan for this at all. And we've tried our best. Please give us a humanitarian corridor so we can go. Thank you. Fellow Nigerians, once again, what do we want? We want to go home! 
They told us, they said it's because they are paying us, that's why we are staying here. Hey! How much do you want to pay us? We are addressing the Nigeria government. Whatsoever thing is going on there, it's a lie. It's a ruse. We are not being paid. We want to come home. Contrary to what everybody is saying, why would you want to come home? The Nigerian government is saying that they've withdrawn all the students from Ukraine. We are still here. And we are not at the border. We are not in Poland. We are not anywhere. We are in Sumi. Sumi yes. And we are stuck in Sumi. Yes. This is day 10. People don't have water. People don't have lights in hostels. It's getting cold in the hostels. There is no food at this stage. We are running out of supplies. How long do we want to continue doing this? Whatever is going on, we are calling on the Nigerian government. We are calling on the, the, the Nigerian uh, Foreign Affairs Ministry. Please, what do we want? We want to go. What do we want? We want to go. Thank you. Please, my mom is having so much. Please, don't, I don't even want to cry again. I beg you. We want to go home. Ghanaians are here. We're a lot. We even have kids among us. We don't want to be here anymore. Please, nobody's going to pay me no amount to be in this world. Honestly. You guys not start it, and I don't, I don't want to be part of it. Just come and take us home. We don't want to be here. Simple. Grace, Nigeria students. Grace. Grace, Nigeria students. Grace. Many of us here might not know this, but... Due to the situation, the government's not agreeing to help us. The Ukrainian government, Russian government, and our government are being stranded here. I and a few friends of mine yesterday we took a journey that was had very great risk. We used our private car and tried to go to Portava. Then Nigerians, we ran into the Russian military and we are fired upon. May I also that, so please excuse me. It's not like that was not it. During during the process of trying to evade, like get away from them. One of our tires got bad. So basically, during that, we are stranded in the middle of nowhere. For a very, it's a miracle that I'm here now. And for me, to, I saw I saw a Russian force advancing towards the city. Most of you are now here. That was just two hours away from here. Those soldiers, they were looking ready to advance. Fresh uniforms, fresh supplies. The, the tanks were still clean. Every, the, that was a fresh force. And that's two hours away from here, if you don't know. Any moment, those people can be here. We cannot be here. We cannot be here yes. when those guys get here. The, yes. the world, the world, we are crying out for help. Sumi, Nigerian students, African students, foreigners, in that this is not our war. Yes. We need to leave this place. What I saw, like, if you saw what I saw, you will know that us, any single minute, every single second we spend here is a danger to the life of every single one of us. Great Nigerian students. Great. What do we want? We, we want, want to go. go. What do we want? We want to go home. We want to go home. I'm telling the world that we want to go home. At, at this point, we don't care. United Nations, ECOWAS, NATO, Russia government, Ukraine government, Nigeria. We need. They should find a way. They are saying they are evacuating people. More than a thousand foreign students are still here in Sumi. So please, who are they evacuating? We don't know. Please, the incidents, the incidents of this morning to ATP. It's not just Western Africans, we're Southern Africans, we're all here stuck. Nobody's government has done anything for us, we've all just been here. No one's come in to do anything, no one's created a humanitarian corridor. If people are leaving, they're leaving on their own, by their own devices, by things they could do. Yes. Things that they provided, their own money. There's people that have spent their last trying to find money from anywhere just to get out of the city, only for them to be sent back. Exactly. Only them for them to be sent back by Ukrainian soldiers, by Russian soldiers. I don't know why they want us here. But this is not our war. We have nothing to do with this. They should let us go home. We want to 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 go home. What do we want? We want to go home. 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 If if they refuse, listen, if they refuse to do nothing, we are going to walk. We are going to walk. If anything happens to us. It will be on the world leaders, the world powers, the United Nations, ECOWAS. It, it, our blood will be on their hands because we are going to walk. We will walk.
So you've heard from them yourself. Like I said, share this video wide so that our brothers and sisters can get the needed help they get to, you know, escape from danger and get to safety. Get back home safely, okay? Thank you very much for watching. What do you think? Drop a comment, like, and if you've not subscribed, remember to click on that subscribe button, okay? When you subscribe, tap on the bell and select all. That way you always get notifications when I post new videos or I do a live stream. Thank you guys. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe, okay? Love you so much. Bye, Grace. I'm signing out. Bye.